Hello everyone and welcome to ACA 122. My name is Karen Botnovic and I'll be your instructor for this semester. ACA 122 is a course that is designed to help you navigate life as a student at Carteret Community College. So no matter the question, doesn't matter if it's about ACA or any of your other courses or any of the resources we have on campus, never hesitate to reach out to me and ask. Let's go over a little bit about how our course will run. So by now you've made it to our welcome page. Right below this welcome video, you have a link to our syllabus. AC is really designed to help new students, so hopefully you're in this class for your very first semester. You may not know what a syllabus is, but you're going to find it in all of your classes. A syllabus is essentially like a contract between you and that class. It's going to go over all details including attendance and what assignments you're going to be submitting that semester and whether or not you'll be able to submit those assignments late and how you're going to be graded on those assignments. So when you look at our ACA 122 syllabus, at the top you're going to have my contact information. Please feel free to reach out to me by email. Phone is a little tricky, but email would probably work best. My office hours are listed here as well. So if you don't know what I mean by office hours, that is a time where you can drop in and see your instructor where they should be in their office. I would encourage you though to email them beforehand. You have our course information. This is a completely online course. You are not allowed or not allowed. You're not required to meet online at a specific time. You can do your assignments anytime during the week and we'll talk about what weeks look like in this class. My preferred method of contact again is email. I may or may not be checking emails over the weekends or on holidays, but if you email me Monday through Friday, I will get back to you within 24 hours. Below that is the course description. I'm not going to read that to you, but you want to know a little bit more about what ACA is. You can read that paragraph here. You have our course level learning outcomes. Again, that's going to go over the ins and outs of everything we're going to be learning in ACA. You have our attendance policy here. So we are a 16 week online course. You are allowed to miss no more than three weeks worth of course material. If you miss more than three weeks of material, that means submitting assignments, not just logging into Moodle. If you miss more than three weeks, you are subject to being dropped from the class. We'll talk about what that means in just a second. Weeks for this class run from Monday at 8 a.m. to the following Monday at 12 p.m. So that's noon, that's lunchtime, not midnight. So again, you can submit work anytime from Monday to Monday. In terms of the withdrawal policy for the college, if an instructor drops you from a course from overcutting, you get a grade of UW. That UW translates to an F in terms of your academic GPA. Now, if you, the student, decide to drop a course and you do so before the 61% point of the semester, you're going to be finding out what that is in ACA, by the way, you get a withdrawal grade or a WD. That does not affect you academically. So the big thing is do not get dropped by an instructor for overcutting for the attendance policy. If you do, that's negatively going to impact your academic GPA. Required course materials for ACA, all of our materials are going to be provided to you. I only ask that you have reliable access to the internet and that you get familiar with Moodle, which is our online learning platform. Expectations, I do expect that you are you know, respectful of your classmates, especially in terms of forum posts. I do expect that all submissions of your work should be you and you alone. You should not copy from others or copy from the internet. So in terms of how you're going to be evaluated, ACA has projects. So we have five projects for each one of our units. That's the Campus Resources Project, Learning Strategies, Programs and Offerings at Carteret, Career Exploration, and then University of Job Research. Throughout these units, you will have some Moodle assignments that you're going to turn in. Those are just documents that you will submit to me. And you will also do forum posts as well. In order to earn credit for this forum post, you need to submit your response and then to respond to other students. And I will indicate in the forum post how many students you need to respond to. Late work. I do allow late work in this class, so I always give students a grace period of seven days. If it's past seven days, I will not accept the assignment because at that point I've already graded it and I've moved on. Each day the assignment is late, you will be deducted five points. Again, this grace period is for emergency situations or maybe you just forgot one week. 
You don't need to email me and tell me why. Again, just know that you will be deducted five points for each day that is late, and you have up until seven days past the due date. How will you be graded in this class? So 50% of your grade will come from projects, 40% of your grade will, become, will come from those Moodle assignments, and then 10% will come from your forum um, discussions. I do round up to the nearest whole number. I do not give any extra credit in this class. I do want to mention, I always tell students, especially in my seated class, HCA is designed to help you. It is not designed to hurt you. So really, as long as you can talk about yourself and submit your assignments on time, everybody in this class really should get an A in ACA. On this next page here, you have our reading schedule. So what can you expect week by week? So this first week is just going to be our introductions, going over the syllabus. You'll do an introductory form post, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. Your second week, we're going to go over all the resources and technology um, that's on campus, so email, Moodle, Carter at Compass, all of the different areas on campus that can help you as a student. Week three, we're going to go over all the policies and procedures for you as a student and also touch on financial aid. Week four is time and stress management. I always really enjoy that week because I too can, you know, learn from myself in terms of time and stress management. Week five is learning styles. Week six is note taking and study strategies. Week seven and week eight, I'm going to expose you to every program of study that we have here on campus. So I know that this class is called College Transfer Success, but I don't just talk about college transfer. So we're going to talk about all of our applied science programs. We're going to talk about all of our health sciences programs. We are going to talk about university transfer, and we're also going to talk about continuing education options. So again, I'm going to expose you to everything so you can make an informed decision about what program you want to pursue here. Week 9 and week 10 are what we call the completion plan project. We're going to go over all things advising and registration, and you're going to map out. This is the biggest thing we do in ACA. You're going to map out all the remaining courses that you need to graduate. Week 11 and 12 involve career exploration. Week 13, 14, and 15, you're either going to research your future job or you may research a future college that you want to transfer. And then finally, week 16 is our wrap-up. If you go to the next page, all of your syllabi and all of your courses are going to have the academic integrity policy. Now, I do expect that you read this. We're actually going to explore this more in week three of ACA. But the gist of this policy is do not cheat. Do not cheat and do not plagiarize. So do not copy and paste off the internet and claim that that work is your own without citing those resources. So there's some example um, violations down here at the bottom. Please read those in the syllabus. It gives you the different offenses. Now, these offenses could be in the same class, but they can also be in different classes as well. The last page of all of your syllabi are going to go over the disability statement. So if you do receive services, so maybe you get extended time or separate setting, you do have to go through the MAP Center in order to get those disability services, and that's located on the second floor of the McGee Building. This is Title IX policy here. I would encourage you to read that. If you do encounter any type of sexual discrimination or harassment, I hope that is never the case here, you do want to get in contact with the Title IX coordinator, which is also located in the MAP Center. All other policies and procedures we're actually going to go over in detail in ACA, but these are really the big ones here. All right, I want to go back to our Moodle page. Right underneath our syllabus, you have our attendance verification. In all of your courses, you have to take your attendance verification. It's a short little quiz. It's basically just a, hey, I'm here. There is a due date on that. If you don't take that attendance verification, you are subject to being dropped from the course. I will send announcements in this class every Monday morning. They should come directly to your email. If they don't for some reason, please let me know. But if you ever want to go back and reference those announcements, you can find them here on the home page. Here's a list of student resources. We're going to be going over these in detail in ACA, but they're here for you in case you need them. All right, over here on the left-hand side, right under the welcome, you have my information if you need to contact me. Also, if you ever like to schedule a meeting with me, you can click this link here. It goes directly to my calendar. You can pick a 30-minute time slot, and I'd be happy to meet with you. NetTutor is a free tutoring service offered to you by the college. This is for all of your subject areas, everything from business to biology to calculus. Every subject area pretty much can be found here. 
English and math have 24 seven around the clock tutors. English is great. You can even drop off a paper. They can edit it and then send it back to you within 48 hours. So it's a really great free resource that we offer our students. I just wanna pull up one of the weeks here so you can get an idea. Again, my class is going to open up on Mondays and it's going to close the following Monday. Now you notice week one and two have the same due date of Monday the 15th. That's because we're weird this semester and we're starting on a Thursday. And I really didn't want to make you have to turn in work next Monday because that just seems like a really quick turnaround. So I'm giving you a little bit of extra time in week one. But you can see all assignments will always be due on Monday. You can do it any time during the week. I will always list for you at the top the objective for the week and also a list of assignments to complete. As long as you have done these assignments, you are present for that week and you're gonna get credit for those. I'm always gonna have lesson videos. This would be the same that as if I was teaching this as a seated course. Strongly encourage you to watch those first before attempting any assignments. I'm gonna give you any resources down here at the bottom. Like for example, I'll give you a technology guide, how to download Microsoft Office for free. You get five versions for free, by the way. How to format a pages file if you're a MacBook user. So anything that I feel like is useful, I'll post it under the video. And then we start getting into the assignment. So I will give you a header that says that it is an assignment. So for example, this is your introduction. So you're gonna click into it, add a forum post. I'm gonna give you instructions here. You can see you have a syllabus quiz that you're gonna to have to do the first week. This is making sure that you're actually reading your syllabus in this class. And then you see your last assignment here is actually to send me an email. So I'm ensuring that you are checking your email, that you know how to check your email, and that you know how to send an email to your instructor. So that's your first three assignments for week one. And every week is gonna look very similar. Again, you're gonna always have a lesson video, any documents or links that I need to give you, and then assignments will be towards the bottom. You will notice this whole entire class is open to you. So if you have a week where you're gonna be out of town or maybe it's gonna be really busy at work and you know you're not gonna have time to do your ACA work, feel free to work ahead. I'm all for it. As long as you complete the assignment before the due date, that is completely fine by me. Another thing I wanna point out to you about Moodle down here at the bottom, there's something called a course dashboard. This is how you're gonna check your grades in all of your classes. So when you click this link down here at the bottom left that says course dashboard, it's gonna bring up every assignment, each individual grade, but it's also gonna list for you my feedback as well. So if you get a grade that, a poor grade, and you're like, why did I get, you know, why, why did I get points counted off? Make sure you go into your course dashboard and look at your grade book to see that feedback. If you have any questions at all about anything in ACA or about any of your other classes, if you're struggling with anything here on campus, I am here to help you. So please let me know, send me an email, let me know how I can help, and I look forward to getting to know you all this semester.